Hey guys, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie, let's go. Today is January 28th, it's a Sunday and it's almost noon. Um, welcome to Clunker's Cavern. Um, now my first question is how the heck do we get that um, mumbo token on top of the pipe? Uh, possibly just like this? No, maybe with a little bit more finesse. No, I don't think so. Uh, now remind me, what do we want to do, like, after coming out of this pipe? Just, like, splash in the sewer water? That's fine with me. Kill this crab. <laughs> I like how, like, you know, the texture, like, popped in and kind of got more defined once the enemy got closer to you. Good old pop-ins, kind of like, you know, a classic thing about, uh, Old games, just like the high, the high textured model, you know, popping in. You know, even new games do that too. Can I? Thank you. Actually, try to show some skill. Um, I like how we have seven lives. That's really, uh, that's really nice. That comes with just being able to, you know, make save states every time you stop playing instead of having to save and quit. Oh, cool, the gold feathers, yeah. I like that. That was like a nice, like, pleasant flute noise when it, when it, uh, spoke to me. It's like we're actually using a new ability in this level. I mean, not that we won't keep learning new abilities, but I feel like this is the last level where we learn a major new ability. This, uh, this level is interesting. It's our first, like, indoor level, and it's kind of, like, you know, gloomy, industrial, dirty, stinky. You know, it's our first level, like, with music in a minor key. Which is kind of interesting. It's kind of funny that, like, all the music in Banjo-Kazooie is either in C major or in C minor. Like, you know, that is kind of a sort of nerdy music theory thing that people might not, um notice. And uh, it's funny because Banjo-Tooie is a little different because it's either in like C major or A minor, so instead of like keeping the root note the same, it keeps the key signature the same. Um, yes, I know that I missed that note. Bzz, I am Clanker, which is garbage grinder. That um, character model of the head talking is actually looks really satisfying. It's just like a good looking head. Like, it's, that's good-looking 3D animation. Um, ish, you know, for... I like, uh, I like it when the character, like, the design is really detailed, but, like, it's been crushed down to, like, a few pixels. Um, like, I've been watching a lot of, like, old computer games. I've been watching the, um, old computer games made by Cyberflix, which they only made two games ever, I think. Um, one was uh, Titanic Adventure Out of Time, and one was Dust the Tale of the Wired West. And yes, Wired West, not Wild West. It's, it's a good pun. Um, they have uh, the mayor, it's like set in a like old like Wild West kind of town, and the mayor is um, uh, Mayor Macintosh. And it's kind of funny because it's like, huh, Macintosh. Probably played this game on an old Macintosh. Man, I just miss when computers were like, you know, like the screen was like a foot deep, you know? I just f love that, like, era, I guess. Uh, you know, you had to, like, like the monitor was like a, like a tower, like a little box that sat down by your feet and like you had to turn the uh turn the either lean down or like push the on button with your foot i am super de duper nervous about this section because um swimming controls and drowning and all that it's just it's really hard to just like point yourself in the direction that you want to go um I was, in fact, just trying to play Super Mario 64, and I had so much problems just trying to point myself in a direction. Oh my god, I'm sucking. I'm missing so many notes. 
I'm just trying to survive, you know? The low saxophone representing that you're underwater. You're at like the deepest point of the level. I mean, I think it's cool when the music goes away when you're at the highest point of the level because it's like at the highest point of the mountain, like suddenly everything is really quiet. And I think that makes perfect sense. You know, like everything down below is just kind of quiet and it's just you and the wind. So I think it makes perfect sense that the music goes away at the highest point of the level. I think, like, this game has just a lot of good, like, environmental world building like that. Um, why did I miss that bubble? Okay, I, I got that bubble. I got the Jinjo, I got most of the notes. Let's finish getting the notes. And taking the notes. And, uh, I don't know, I, ha I had a friend in high school who used to say, I got your notes, boss. Why am I missing this one note? Thank you. How dare I miss the notes? I can read music. Um, so we just have to, like, turn this key three times, and then we win. And then we win. And then we have a really long swim from, uh, here up to the top of the level. Or from here to the surface of the water, so we... Cannot... Make that on three bubbles of air. And now I'm really nervous. Okay, there's a Jiggy on top. That had that looks so like just freaking identical to me to like the placement of the star on top of Bowser's submarine and in, in DDD. I think I can make it on four. This is really risky. Maybe it's not as risky as I. It'd be better if the camera was a little bit nicer to me. Okay, turning around. God, remind me never to um become an airplane pilot. I feel like I'd be terrible at that. I think I do have a, a friend who has his pilot's license. Um, and pilot as in plane, not as in the, uh, I don't know, the Roman official that, uh, crucified Jesus. Anyway, that is a different pilot. But they are, they sound the same, but they are spelled differently. How dare you, English? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, other languages have homophones. Homophones. I also just, like, really like, um... I like games with, like, um, pre-rendered, like... 3D environments that are just like a flat, like, JPEG <laughs> that you just walk around in, because it just looks cool. Looks cooler to me than, like, you know, a, a rendered 3D environment like this is. Although what this is, is it's like, you know, textures kind of glued onto a 3D envir- Excuse me, I'm burping. Um, textures, flat textures glued onto 3D objects, just kind of, you know, the way it was done, um... I am so... I hate stuff like this so much, and that's exactly why. But, um... Let's see. I'm not gonna use save states yet. In fact, I actually have not set my save state key for this uh, emulator yet, so... That is, uh, at least one way of keeping me from cheating. I like this level because it kind of, it features like two sections, um, like a, this, like the section in the cavern, and then, um, the section inside Clanker. So it feels like, you know, the indoor and the outdoor portions of the level, but it's really the indoor and the indoor-indoor portions of the level, because you're going, like, one level further indoors. You're, like, in a sub... Uh, uh, a submerged machine, which I know that's actually, like... People have a fear of, like, submerged animatronics or submerged, like, man-made machines. It's a fear called, like, sub... sub-mechanophobia. 
and I wouldn't have known about that had there not been like a res um, not a resurgence, but like a sudden surge. I guess if it's not a resurgence, it's it's just a surge, or it's a Russian guy named Surge. But no, it's a um, a bunch of YouTube videos about like obscure phobias. One of them being subnecanophobia. Um. It's also really interesting that they have this, like, you know, metal shark, but they have this, like, implied gore? Like, implied flesh on the side of him? It's very, it's a very, like, interesting decision for what is quote-unquote a kid's game, although I hate, I've started hating that level, or that label, kid's game. I remember, like, getting kind of, like, somewhat, like, petty about it on, like, an Instagram post when they, like, called Donkey Kong Country a kid's game because that's just not accurate to me. Like, just because it has animals instead of humans with guns, it's, like, about animals and bananas and, you know, things like that. Does that mean it's for kids? Like, just for kids? Like, for kids implies just for kids. And, like, for everybody implies something that can be enjoyed by everybody. And so I said, it's not a kid's game. I think the way I phrased it was just, it's not a kid's game, it's just a regular game. And I didn't mean that, like, oh, it's just a regular game. Like, no, Donkey Kong Country is a masterpiece. It's probably my favorite 2D platformer ever. But the, slapping the label kid's game on it doesn't help anybody. Like, it is a game for everyone. For adults and kids alike. You know, I don't know where I was going with that, uh, well, it went. I, I went to the desired place with that, uh, diatribe. Or I like how some of my friends, uh, you know, they like to say I'm off my soapbox. Um, you know, soapbox meaning a rant. Rants are cool. That, um... It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that you should shoot eggs at, at a thing, like a metal grate, to open it. So, whatever. Please don't die. Wait, wait, no, come on. I don't suck at this game, come on. Like, I can actually be good at video games when I try to be. Not really, I'm missing notes. Um. I like to make fun of myself for being bad at video games, like, I know I'm not actually bad at video games, but, you know, oh, I'm not good enough to be a speedrunner, yeah, well, a lot of people can say that, but, you know, they're still good enough, and, like, I'm sure you can learn to be a speedrunner, like, it would make me happy to, like, really, like, learn how to speedrun something and then do it at, like, a really high level. Because, like, I love video games enough to want to do them at a high level. Like, if you love something, you want to do it well. Like, if you love art, you want to do it well. If you love music, you want to do it well. And, you know, it's not about, like, being talented or not talented. Like, it's about do you understand what you need to do and are you willing to put the time in to learn what you need to do and practice it over and over again until you get better. Which, that's all speedrunning is. Um. I mean, yes, there's hand-eye coordination, there's, like, you know, staying up long hours in, like, Discord chats, like, talking about, like, glitch hunting. The thing is, I enjoy playing through video games, like, the normal way too much. I think I- I don't think I would enjoy, um, like, yeah, that's- maybe not, that's- not entirely true. I, I think I would enjoy, like, finding glitches. Um... I think one of the honeycombs is, like... This camera sucks, by the way. I mean... Granted, you know, a lot of the early 3D games had difficulty with cameras, and I think I would struggle with modern games, like, where, like, the camera is on a separate stick. Because... You know, I'd be fo too focused on other buttons. 
and I wouldn't be like adjusting the second stick like all the time. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm terrible at like FPS games because I've always found like the control is too hard. Too like unintuitive. Not counterintuitive, just unintuitive. Counterintuitive means it goes against what is intuitive, but I just mean unintuitive. Like it's not intuitive at the in, in the first place. Um Anyway. Yeah, just the, like, I tried playing COD maybe, like, once. Um, just because, like, you know, I was at, like, a friend's house for, like, Bible talk or whatever, and, like, a lot of the guys in my Bible talk, of course, you know, either play COD or FIFA or, you know, one of those popular games that I'm not into. We're just wasting eggs. Do we really need both, uh... Toothache this side gone, clanker swallowed reward. Teeth all better now. Thank you, Bear. You're, you're very welcome. Because it makes so much sense. Should be qualified dentists. Um, yes, get this thing without falling off. Falling off? Falling off. I can't really say my words correctly today, can I? Um, I don't know if it's because I've had too much caffeine or... Um, if it's because I just woke up. I've been finding that caffeine actually makes it harder for me to focus, um, but I've just developed such a high caffeine tolerance and dependence, almost. So, you know, I have a friend at school who says like, oh, you can never be over caffeinated. And I was just like, I just kind of accepted that like, you know, I drank, you know, an energy drink or two and like, you know, a coffee or two a day, and that was, like, my baseline. And I realize now that, like, I'm, you know, I think my brain would be a lot happier if I just kind of laid off the caffeine for a while. I don't know what's, what a healthy amount is, but, you know. I think it's still fine to have, you know, coffee, but it's still, it's sometimes it's still just a bit overstimulating. Um... Uh, you know, I, I I think for a long time I've almost used it as, like, self-medication. Like, you know, it kind of gives me, a, like, a momentary distraction from my depression. Like, when I'm drinking coffee and feeling the caffeine buzz. But I've just found that it kind of, like, makes me a bit scatterbrained and makes, makes it hard for me to kind of, like, focus. Just makes me feel tense. But I don't know. Ca caffeine just kind of became a big part of my personality. It became my whole personality, like, ever since I watched, like, Twin Peaks, and I kind of modeled my entire personality off of Dale Cooper, um, which was kind of a thing in, uh, in, um, when I was in college. I was like, oh, Dale Cooper is this really, uh, you know, he's full full of, like, wonder at the world. He loves life. He's so positive. And also, like, just effortlessly cool. And he's so, like, confident. I hope that was all of them. Oh, okay. I was scared for a second because I was like, oh, that's not all of them. And then it was kind of like a delayed reaction, like I heard the thingy. Um, I still have to figure out how to get out of planker um I think it's funny that they did like a, a different tune like a different song entirely for the inside of clanker and you never like remember it because like kind of in these uh, games you're used to kind of remembering like one song per level so I, I never remember like the melody for inside clanker only the melody for outside clanker and Super Mario 64 didn't have even have like a distinct song for every level. Like it had a bunch of songs that it just kept reusing for different levels. Um, know what I mean? Like you know, they reused Bob Bomb Battlefield a bunch of times. It reused uh, Dire Dire Docks a bunch of times. It reused um. Oh, but Dire Dire Docks was cool because it had, like, um, the underwater version, which was kind of, like, super chill and just, like, piano. 
and uh, it had like the above water version, which was like it added the super funky like drum beat. All right, um, that's about halfway through the level, so I think I'll give my voice a break and uh, just give the game a little bit of a rest. But uh, I hope you're still enjoying Banjo Kazooie, and in the next episode, we'll finish off Clanker's Cavern. Thanks so much. <laughs>